Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys, and welcome to day three of the 2022 Vlogmas here on Come On, Keeping It Real. And we got a special one for you today, guys. I am very, very excited about this. I went to the P.O. Box the other day, and I got a lot of cool stuff from some very cool people, and I want to share that with y'all. It goes with the whole theme of the Christmas, so I'm excited about it. It is kind of cool outside today, and it is looking like we're going to have rain for like the next 10 days. Ugh, I'm not ready for it. Hold on. Got to hydrate. Got to hydrate this morning. Come on with the matching water bottle. Come on. So, how's everybody's weekend going? I got my little hat on. I don't have to wear an orange vest today because I'm indoors. Look at that. Da, da, da. <laughs> I love this hat. Oh, oh, it might stay up. All right, let's see where we want to start here. First, we're going to start. I'm not going to turn this around. don't want to show the addresses. But I actually got a letter and a magnet for New Zealand. Now, this particular subscriber has a messaged me several times over this last year saying that my map that y'all see hanging up which i don't actually have it hanging up right now since i redid the uh cabin and decorating i ain't found out exactly where i'm gonna put it because it takes up quite a bit of space but uh apparently new zealand is not on that map so they have been searching for a magnet that has new zealand on it that way I can add it to my map. So as soon as I put the map back up, I will be adding this to the map where New Zealand belongs. I think that's really, really cool. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. So I will definitely be updating the map. I think what happened with that map is they kind of wrapped the cloth around the edge on the three people. And I believe that it actually got wrapped around the edge. So... That is pretty cool. I will definitely make sure that I put that magnet on there and be able to represent all my New Zealand people. That is awesome. And I believe it came from Dave. It doesn't. Came with a little letter telling me uh, what it was about. And then uh, let's go with the next one. I haven't opened this one yet. I might have should have got a knife or something with me. This one right here, boy, they got it sealed. Uh, I had a busy day yesterday. Ended up having to go back to town. I am working right now on... Uh, I definitely should have got a knife. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to have to get something. Oh. Got a razor knife. Uh, I'm actually working on right now putting up the deer feeder and the tripod uh, tree stand. That way I can hunt. I'm a little late on the game, but uh, I'm actually filming that. That will probably be coming out. If today goes well, that will be coming out tomorrow, I believe. All right, this right here is from the Oklahoma Grammy. And let's see here. Oh, that's cool. We got some keychains. Check that out. We got two of them. One's got the little maroon. Let me take it out here. I ain't done an unboxing in a while. One has got a pink tassel for margarita. As you can see. And the other one has got more of a red tassel. For myself and then uh they actually reached out to me on email to get the uh shirt sizes and stuff so i do believe there's a shirt here for margarita yeah this one's margaritas it's so little <laughs> and then got a big one for myself you see the different sizes of those shirts between me and margarita that is crazy so thank you very very much Oh, the Oklahoma Grammy. I appreciate that a whole lot. You will be seeing that shirt being worn. 
in some of my videos because I love wearing my YouTube shirts on video. And also, let me show you this, guys. Come on with the Ridge Life. Come on. So, my buddy has been making big moves over there in Tennessee, old Tim. He just did his first live in like, whew, I think it's been a seven months, something like that, on his Lessons from the Ridge uh, channel. And I thought that was really cool to see Tim live again. Uh, Tim used to do two, three lives a week and all of that, and then just life got busy. And he couldn't do it. And so now he's starting to pump out the videos um, a whole lot. And I know that he announced or whatever. There's some big changes coming. There's definitely big changes coming. And I'm excited for it. And I am just glad to see my brother back out there doing live. So this is a big shout out to Tim with Ridge Life. If you have not subscribed to him yet, make sure that you go over to his channel and subscribe to Ridge Life. And tell him that come on, said come on with some more lives. Come on. All right, let's see here. Where do we want to go next? Now, this next one is going to take a little time to go through. It is from Terry. And wrote me a little card and a very, very sweet letter, which I've already read. And the birth name is Teresa, but not a fan. So we're going to call you Terry, Miss Terry. So... She is a very, very crafty, crafty person. And she said after she seen my uh, video saying that I had no ornaments and that um, I like rustic ornaments and I kind of want to go with a rusty theme. So she took it upon herself to go to her craft room and make me a whole bunch of handmade ornaments. And they are awesome, guys. Awesome. So I'm going to share those with y'all. I'm pretty excited about it. Now... With these ornaments, we will be doing another video. I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow because I'm going to have to edit tonight and everything. But uh, we're going to decorate the tree together with these ornaments and some of the other stuff that I got. But I'm going to kind of go through here. I set up the best that I can. I got one box to put it on after we looked at it and the one box that we're pulling from. But check these out. Tell me those ain't cool. They're made out of little sticks. That is so awesome. I got several of these. Some of these are very fragile, so I got to be careful. And then I got a whole bag of snowflakes. Check this out. I'll take one of them out so you can see it. And it looks like these are made out of clothespins, which is awesome. Check that out, guys. Isn't that beautiful? And they got different little uh, center parts, green and red. It's going to look so cool on the tree. Uh, trying to be very gentle. And then there's several bags of these. And their little presents wrapped up. I wish I could wrap presents that nice. <laughs> I am not a good wrapper, guys. But check that out. Oh, turn, turn. Tell me that is not cool. And there's like three bags of these. I just love it. I love it and can't thank you enough for them. Let me keep digging. See, more presents, and they all got different wrapping paper. This one's even got little musical notes on it. Pretty cool. I'll just show you the different designs. Little pine cones. So nice. I love it. Here is some more of the stars. That is so, so cool. I think it is absolutely great. And I have decided, I know I've been saying I was going to buy some ornaments for the tree after Christmas, whenever the prices go down. But I think at this point, 
I think what I'm going to do is my Christmas tree every year is going to be um, ornaments from family and friends and also ornaments that you guys send me um, for the tree and every year I will just keep adding to it and I think that'll be a lot more meaningful of a Christmas tree if it's all like ornaments that actually came from somebody uh, with a story and with love so I think it's great this right here is a phenomenal phenomenal start and it's going to really really bring the old snowman behind me uh, to the next level we got another one of those now check this out guys we got a whole bag of these but look at this little musical notes and I really like the musical note thing because um, whenever I'm talking to people and we're having a conversation, you know how you'll ha say something and there's a song that has it in there and then you just go into song? That happens to me all the time. Not that I can sing. I sound like a, uh, a hound dog getting beat, but uh, <laughs> I still like to sing. And then we got some stockings. They say Merry Christmas, and they're all different colors. There's quite a few of them, but check those out. That is awesome. And also, they put in the note, uh, wrote me, like I said, a really, really nice letter and gave me a Christmas card, which is awesome. I'll be putting the Christmas card up somewhere. And uh, uh, some of these are also for Margarita. Check these little things out. <laughs> little hoodies. And these are all handmade, guys. It's absolutely awesome and very, very talented. We got some more hats. We got different colors. Ooh, come on with the camo. Come on. And then, let's see here. I haven't even went through all of these because when I actually opened it, I opened it at the... Uh, the uh, post office in the truck just to see kind of what it was and there was so much in here that I couldn't go through it so a lot of this I'm seeing for the first time a bunch of little uh, little green little ornaments and some gray ones it feels like this like little uh, felt carpet it's pretty cool and each one has a little saying on the back awesome put everything and the packaging was phenomenal by the way it came in a two-layer box with a bunch of bubble wrap which I'm gonna enjoy popping in a little while and uh, individually wrapped and stuff very 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 organized all right wow this one's tied I gotta get my razor knife I need to put a new razor on here because this jerker right here wouldn't cut butter. Okay. First of all, very, very creative with the packaging. But check this out. Oh, these are cool. Check these out. Little pine cones. And they're all decorated definitely. Tell me that that is not absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see here. And I got a Target sales paper. Hmm, let's see what Target's got going on. You know, I haven't shopped at Target in a very, 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 very long time. Hmm. Ah. They got a, a deal on a fabric softener. Yes, fabric softener. But I am so grateful for all of your gifts. And uh, it's really nice. It's really nice to open it up and to see all of that hard work and the thought process that goes behind the things that y'all send me. Um, the shirts, I greatly appreciate that. I don't think I've bought a t-shirt in a minute because of all my YouTube people. 
um, out there that have different merchandise and stuff like that. I love representing. I, I love shouting out channels, and uh, it, it's just it's just fun for me. The community here is just absolutely mind blowing to me. Um, I've said it a million times. The number one thing that I was shocked about with YouTube is the community aspect that we have in this community. It uh, blows my mind and it never ceases to amaze me. It, it's just, it's insane. All the hard work and stuff that goes into this and the thought processes of actually writing me hand lit, uh, written letters and like with the magnet to pay so close attention to my videos that you notice that your country is not on my map and to go out of your way to be on a search for a magnet or something that you can send me so I can put it on there so I can represent your country. Just the thought and the effort that goes into what y'all guys do for me is just mind blowing. And uh, this is the season to be grateful and to uh, really kind of put things into perspective and stuff and I feel so much love from this community that y'all fill my heart and uh, it is something that I didn't even know I was missing in life until I found it and uh, it just gets me guys it gets me um, it's amazing it's amazing and I greatly appreciate it I truly do feel that Y'all are as big as part of this journey as myself. Um, I choose to bring y'all along with me as I chase my dream here and try to build what I've always dreamed about since I was a little boy. And, uh, and to bring you guys along and I never feel alone. I never feel by myself. I always feel like I have people there that are there for me to, and support me. And for me, I'm the type of person, I'm a very self-motivated type person. Um, you know, you really can't do this kind of stuff if you're not self-motivated. You you, ha you have to make yourself get out of bed in the morning, put those boots on and get your butt out there and go to work every day and sit here at night and edit and do all the things that you got to do. And, you know, you just got to work hard. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter what's going on around you. You have to stay focused and kind of get it. And uh, I've always been very good at being self-motivated, but I've always been better when I've had other people there to support me and to kind of encourage me and drive me. Um, it always takes me to like another gear. And uh, there's been times in my life where I felt like I didn't have that. And uh, it was a struggle. And I can truly say since I started YouTube and doing this type of stuff, and the community that has developed out of it, I have not felt alone since. And to me, that is the greatest gift that I could be given. Um, I'm up here on this mountain all by myself, but I never feel like I'm by myself. I always feel like I, I have people there with me. If I'm having one of those days where I'm lonely and I'm just like, uh, I'm out here all by myself. All I have to do is grab my phone and start reading y'all's comments and y'all's encouraging words and all of that. And that just gives me that little extra oomph that I need to kind of, you know, drink me some water and get my butt back to work. So y'all are just as much as part of this as I am. And do know that you were greatly, greatly appreciated. And I am so thankful for everything that y'all do for me whether it be encouraging words or sending me cool stuff like this, or even if it's just y'all out there taking my advice about going out there and doing some good for other people and doing good for yourself. Um, one of the main things I love about this particular channel right here is it is a much, much more personal connection to you guys. Um, my main channel, um, I enjoy creating and making the videos and making them entertaining and uh teaching and and all of that i love that and uh i wouldn't trade that for the world but for me this channel right here allows me to really feel like i connect and reach with y'all directly and uh it means the world to me and if i can be a positive influence on y'all and 
get y'all to chase your dreams or to, like I say many times, reach out to somebody that you haven't spoke to in a while and kind of reconnect that relationship and those connections. I get emails all the time and messages on Messenger and even in the comment section talking about how I've touched people's lives with getting them to reach out to a, a long lost family relative or a high school friend or, or something like that or just bring a smile to somebody's face on a really bad day or while they're going through a hard time whether it be something you know medical or emotional or something like that those type of things guys drive me that 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 is my fuel you know that that's that's my diesel that kind of keeps this tank just steady going all of that means so much to me and uh, this is a business and I do make my living with it and it is important and stuff but that is not what drives me um, I have many skills many talents um, I've worked very very hard to learn a lot of different trades over my life and uh, I can go make money in other ways um, but what truly drives me on here is you guys and you know trying to be a good person for y'all and kind of motivate y'all and help y'all chase your dreams and if you can't go get them at least live them through me so I just want to tell everybody that I am grateful for all of you and during this time of year is the time to really think about that and all of that and I encourage you today and uh, I normally say reach out to somebody that you haven't talked to in a while and that you miss and everything else today we're gonna to do it a little tougher I'm gonna give you all a little bit uh, more of a challenge I want you to reach out to somebody that you felt that you did wrong at some point in your life um, that you regret and that you never had the opportunity to say hey I'm sorry I'm sorry and uh, it was a long time ago or if it was yesterday it doesn't matter that I, I, I was wrong I was wrong in that and life's too short and I want to make amends and I want us to reconnect and uh, try to make it better and uh, you know because it's it's easy sometimes just to reach out to people that you know that like you it's another thing to give somebody some peace of something somebody that you might have done something wrong too and we've all done it uh, maybe not intentionally but we've all hurt people um, by accident or intentionally and always in the back of our minds are always like mm, probably shouldn't have done that that kind of wasn't right and I, I really wouldn't want it done to me because I try to live my life guys with um, I try to pe treat people the way that I expect to be treated and uh, I start there and I try to think about okay if this was done with me to me how would I feel about this and if the answer is I wouldn't like it then there's a real good chance I'm not gonna do it um, and I think if more people thought that way um, we'd have a lot more loving of a, a community out there in the world so um, like I said I'm guilty of it and uh, I'm gonna do the same uh, there's a couple of people that I've had in my mind here for the last couple of weeks or whatever that I felt like I could have did a little bit better at that point in my life with and uh, I'm gonna try to reach out to them and just uh, let them know that I apologize and uh, that I hope that they have a Merry Christmas so I hope y'all enjoyed this video guys this is day three of the 2022 vlogmas here on come on keeping it real and we're always gonna keep it real on here guys so until we see each other again, hey, I need you guys to also keep it real. See y'all tomorrow.